I would like to wish you uh, a warm welcome to Lund and Lund University. My name is Magnus Rasmussen and I'm the professor of uh, infection medicine at Lund University and I also work uh, as a physician uh, in L Skåne University Hospital in Lund. Both as part of my uh, research work and as my clinical work, I've been working with patients with COVID-19. Sweden has chosen a slightly different uh, strategy to combat COVID-19 as compared to some of our neighboring countries and also to other countries uh, in the world. Uh, we have not experienced major lockdowns in, uh, in Sweden. Uh, public schools have been open uh, throughout the entire pandemic and uh, very, uh, very rarely you see people wearing breathing protection in the public. Of course, we have taken many other actions, but those actions uh, mainly rely on individual responsibility. And we have very strongly stressed that uh, with the slightest of symptoms, you must not go to work and you must, uh, and you must stay, stay at home and not to risk to, to uh, transmit disease to others. Also, of course, as in all countries, there has been a focus on uh, on the education and training of people in hygiene measures, especially with focus on hand hygiene and not, not touching your face. It is uncommon uh, in Sweden to wear a, f uh, a face mask uh, because this has been, by our, our authorities, been deemed not as an effective way of controlling the transmission of the virus. Uh, it is likely that a face protection can protect others if you have the virus, but it's unlikely that it will protect you from the, the virus. However, you see some people uh, in, uh, in the public that wear uh, a face protection and it's uh, accepted uh, by others, but not deemed uh, necessary or compulsory by the authorities. Lund is in a part of Sweden called Skåne. It's the region that, uh, that we live in. And it's a region with 1.3 million inhabitants. And this region has not been heavily affected by the COVID pandemic. In Sweden, uh, the, uh, the Stockholm area and the, and the surrounding areas have been heavily affected. And uh, the high death tolls that we've seen in Sweden is mainly due to the situation uh, that was uh, that Stockholm had in April and May. In Skåne we now see um, a low degree of uh, virus transmission with occasional clusters especially related to people traveling. One of the main restrictions we have in place in, in Sweden is that it's prohibited to gather more than 50 people at one spot. 50 people is of course an arbitrary number and in all, uh, in, on all occasions we should uh, strive to, uh, to meet as safely as possible with uh, physical distancing to each other, minimizing the risk for uh, virus transmission. But 50 people is regarded as some kind of, uh, of key number and you will never be in a situation, uh, a lecture, with uh, more than 50 people. Lund University has performed a careful planning so that all teaching can be performed in accordance with the guidelines of the Swedish uh, healthcare authorities and uh, so that you can be safe uh, in your uh, studies. To stay safe, it's very important to uh, consider some basic uh, rules that I think all of you already know. If you want to cough or sneeze, you do that in your elbow. You should be very careful in washing your hands and do that uh, and do that often and every time you've been out and come in wash your hands be very careful not to touch your face with dirty hands 
if you feel any symptoms compatible with COVID-19. Uh, it could be a very, very, very slight symptoms. Stay at home. It's better to be safe than sorry. Please consider also to always uh, try to keep a physical distance to others uh, on all occasions. If you should uh, feel sick in symptoms that would be compatible with COVID-19, then it's very important that you stay at home and do not attend uh, the classes. If you need to do any errands, ask friends to do it. And if you need to seek consultation of the healthcare, then the easiest thing, uh, the easiest way is always to contact 1177. And it's as simple as you dial that number and then you will have uh, a lot of, uh, you will have uh, manual information on healthcare procedures and they can help you with your specific uh, case. So I'm happy that you all arrived here safely or will arrive here safely. And uh, if you adhere to the uh, safety precautions that you've all heard before and that I also mentioned in the video, um, you are very likely to have a safe and rewarding semester here at Lund University and in Lund Skåne.